What book fricked you up mentally? A comprehensive guide to JavaScript programming edit, oh my god didn't expect my answer to blow up like this. Although I wanna say each and every programming language has its own use case just that switching from Java to React J's after years. I felt like a spider is crawling under my neck that the language allows you to add properties to an object dynamically. Decided to read The Shining, ended up getting snowed in with my family on our farm halfway through the book and finished it before we could get out. In retrospect I should have read it during the summer. When a red fern grows, being forced to read that sent grade school me through a roller coaster of emotions. Edit, I really appreciate all the upvotes and people sharing their stories slash experiences with this book. I figure I'll share mine. I was a bookworm between 5th and 6th grade and was really enjoying the book, so I decided to read ahead and finish the book. Needless to say 11 year old me crawled in bed cried like a baby. Then after the whole class finished the book we went on to watch the movie in class. It resulted in a room full of kids sobbing. I can only assume this is why I have more sympathy towards animals than I do people. This book definitely left an impact on many of us. Haha <laughs> oh man. I read this book in 6th grade and I was enjoying it so much but had no idea how the ending would turn out. So we had some kind of class party going on. It might have been the last day before winter break or something I don't remember. Anyway, soda and treats for everyone, music, just a nice kickback non-educational afternoon in the classroom because our teacher Mr. Fox was cool like that. So I'm sitting in the back finishing this fantastic book, sipping on a root beer. And then I get to that freaking ending. What happened next is my own fault. I should have figured out shit was gonna get heavy, put the book down, and finish it at home. But it's just so amazingly written that I couldn't. So instead I'm slouching deep in my chair, covering my face with the book, blinking through stinging tears, finishing it. Suddenly Mr. Fox calls me out. Hey how's that root beer? Hey John Walker's beard. You enjoying that root beer? Hey. Hey John Walker's beard. Hey, what's going on? By this point I can feel everyone staring at me. I'm terrified to put the book down but it's too awkward so I let it happen. Book goes down. I've got ugly snot and tears everywhere. The pretty, mean, popular girl says are you crying? Some other kid laughs. I'm just staring at Mr. Fox like bro, WTF, help me out. He stares at me, confused as frick, glances down, sees the title and the on his face goes from confusion to oh, frick. He walked me out of class, took me to the nurse's office while I sobbed. My friend told me that he threatened the class that the next person who laughed at me would be assigned a book report on that book and would have to present it out loud. He was a pretty rad teacher. And then there were none. Fantastically plotted, some great characterization, a truly awful sense of dread, the best mystery novel ever for a reason. I have no mouth, and I must scream gave me nightmares. Scary stories to read in the dark. Night Shift by Stephen King, a collection of short horror stories. I was around 10 when I started really getting into reading and my dad had a lot of Stephen King on the shelf so I naturally started reading his stuff. I remember many nights staying up far too late after reading just waiting to hear so nice come from my closet. Some of those stories genuinely messed up my young mind. Not a book but a short story. The Lottery. Night by Ellie Wiesel. There is nothing more unsettling than reading the inner thoughts of a holocaust survivor. Edit, thank you guys for sharing your personal experiences and stories. I've read practically all of them, and even attempted to comment on as many of them as I could. You're some truly amazing people. American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Much more horrifying than the movie. Flowers for Algernon, the first book I had a big emotional reaction to. A child called it. Bridge to Terabithia. I also had a very visceral reaction to Tuck Everlasting. 
I read all this shit about tech bros trying to crack the code to extend human life indefinitely and I'm like why? We need to talk about Kevin, it's the same plot as the movie just written through letters from the wife to the husbands and oh boy was that intense. The hot zone, just made me paranoid I'd catch Ebola. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The yellow wallpaper freaked me up for quite a while. Watership Down, by Richard Adams. A bloody story about rabbits. Who knew? Lord of the Flies. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Blew my young mind away and really made me think about how society is organized. The Giving Tree. That kid was so ungrateful, and the tree gave him everything it had. The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. It tells the story of American soldiers in Vietnam during the war along with explaining what mental and physical things that each held. What screwed me up mentally was that you couldn't trust the author you didn't know whether he was telling the truth or making the story up edit, thank you for all the upvotes and the awards. It by Stephen King. I read the first chapter when I was about 8 and literally spent the next two weeks shivering in my bed every night until I got up the courage to talk to Dad, who went and spoiled the ending to reassure me. Go Ask Alice. I read it when I was 12. It was the first time I had read a book like this and it shook me to my core at the end. Frown. 1984. When I first read Animal Farm in my early teens, I was at the age where I could recognize the parallels with real life and it fricked me up for a long while. All animals are created equal, but some are more equal than others. House of Leaves was really unsettling. My Algebra 1 textbook of Mice and Men cat in the hat, I was molested when I was seven and I knew what happened. So whenever the cat said your mother won't mind flashbacks back to when I was seven. Misery by Stephen King. That book slowly breaks you as you keep hoping that the protagonist survives the horrors he faces. Mark Twain's autobiography, where he said, but who prays for Satan? Who in 18 centuries, has had the common humanity to pray for the one sinner that needed it most it changed the way 14 years slash oh me saw theology forever. I read Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar when I was in 7th grade for accelerated reader points and I haven't been the same person since. I really think Unwind by Neil Shusterman is interesting. There is a chapter in which you are put into the perspectives of the minor antagonist as he slowly gets torn limb by limb and organ by org and by doctors. All of his organs get taken out one by one, in non-descriptive detail, until there is nothing left of him. It didn't really frip me up mentally but I thought it was messed up. Additional note, it even gets more messed up when you remember that the person who is getting torn limb from limb harvested for organs, is legally a child. The Kite Runner The Road by Cormac McCarthy The Giver The Lovely Bones, and Lolita both books I had to read for a course. I'll never reread them, truly disturbing. The Book Thief the Plague from A. Camus Edit, thank you for Golden Kind Stranger. The Stranger is also really good and so is Sisypho. I personally understood absurdism and author's thoughts the best in The Plague and it was a mind frick in every sense of the he word. Camus writing is incredible. It's not beautiful but it impacts you. I came into this thread to say The Stranger. Four sharp knocks at the door of unhappiness. Flowers in the Attic I remember in middle school all of these girls carrying V.C. Andrews books with them. 
None of those girls had parents who would let their kids watch movies with swear words in them but they don't notice their daughters reading books that are straight up about incest. Fahrenheit 451 Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk Sharp Objects It was the inception of Mind Freaks for me. A Child Called It by Dave Belzer It's an autobiography about the child abuse Belzer suffered through as a young child. He goes into detail about wounds slash the abuse. He has a few books about it. It's probably one of the worst cases of child abuse I've ever read about. Fricked me up reading it as a young kid.